Hey guys, just another quick review. This time it's on the Grease Sports Cyrus and Walking Boot. Now, these are not the sort of boots that I would have went for. They're not my brand that I normally stick to. And they're a lot cheaper than the brand that I normally stick to. But these were priced at £85. You know what? It sort of ticked all the boxes that I want. And, you know, I thought I'd give them a try, but it wasn't holding out much hope at £85. Now, I didn't know much about Grease Sport. I knew of them, but didn't know a lot about them. But they're a British owned company. And their factory is actually based at the foothills of Dolomites in Italy. So that's where they're made and tested. So they obviously know something about walking. They've been going since uh, 1977. So I, I bought these thinking, you know what, didn't get £85, but sceptic of them, you know. And uh, I live in a wee place here in Ireland called the Sperns, and it's... Re it's renowned for being really wet and boggy all year round. Now I last had these out on New Year's Eve on a really horrendous weather. It was really wet underfoot, really boggy as I said, and I was out on them three or four hours. And they held out really, really well. And I was out maybe a week beforehand in another part of the Sparren Mountains, and I was up through a forest trail and then out onto the open mountain, and it was, again, horrible, horrendous weather. And to my surprise, both them times they haven't let in. And there were reason to be comfortable. A wee bit of breaking in on one of the, one of the feet, my left foot. But by the time I came round the second time, it was it was fine. And um, I was pretty impressed them too. Yes, it's, it's still early days on the boots, but they performed them both them days, and I was really surprised, and I was quite happy with them. But uh, I'll probably give a review later on after I get more use out of them and uh, see how they get on then. But I'll just show you the basic features of what the what these boots are about. Now they're a leather boot. Um, they look pretty well. A little bit of damp there from the last time. They look well. I know I, I prefer leather than fabric, just for the reason they're a lot easier to maintain, and uh, they're a lot easier to proof, in my opinion, than the fabric. And saying that, I have fabric books of not against them. I just prefer leather. Now we'll go through the features. What you have here at the bottom is your sole. Is that dirt on it from the last day? It's um a Vibram unit. It's very grippy. It's very durable, it's very hard wearing. I don't really need to say much about Vibram because a lot of boot manufacturers use it because it's been tried and tested and it's been going a long time. So it's, it's a good outsole to have on a boot. And as I said, it's a leather boot. It has this wee feature here, but they've actually taken out the leather and put on a different fabric. Which in turn, the reason for this is that's where the boot flexes. So if the leather ever dried out, or you didn't look after it right, or even if you did look at it, sometimes the leather can crack there and break. This obviously is there to stop it. And that's not a bad feature. It's the first time I've ever had this in any of the boots that I've ever had. Now it has your metal eyelets and hooks, which is a pretty standard feature in a good boot. Now on your tongue, you have obviously your wings on each side, your webbing on each side, which obviously prevents dirt and water getting into the boot. Inside, you've just your pretty standard um, insole. But again, the, the boot's really comfortable and it's well padded and around the tongue and around the boot. It has a, a lining under the leather. The leather is obviously naturally waterproof anyway because it's leather. It has a lining on it called the Spotex, which is their, probably their version of a, a Gore Tex lining. They do, Grease Sport do three different sort of membranes. Now in this bit it's obviously the Spotex, which is, they've set it out as breathable and waterproof membrane, and which it is, I can't argue with that yet. And they have other lanes, which is the Greetex, which would be more for their uh, colder weather, and w snow boots and ice would be more, that's what the, Gre the, the Greetex is. And then they have, that's the Spotex, which is probably their mid-level membrane, and then they have a thing called the Sympatex, which would be their closest version to Gore-Tex, which is waterproof and breathable. Now, what I can say about these boots, again, they were only £85, still early days, they're comfortable, they've done the job, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with them at £85, definitely worth a shot.